What's that smell? Do you get new perfume? It's nice. Yeah, it's a new fall fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious like the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to show my support while they're out there taking down an evil corporation. A show of support, huh? I could post a photo online of all the fan merch I've amassed. Maybe they'll be motivated by how passionate their fans are. I gotta say, it looks like everything's coming up roses now that Haru's on our side. Hmm? But flowers die in autumn, do they not? And ignore. How about you, Haru? Have you gotten used to all of this yet? Yes, thanks to all of you. Just chatting like this is great. I never really had a chance to do such things until now. This isn't the time for me to be enjoying myself, though. Don't worry about it. This class is boring as shit anyways. You know I'm reading this, right? Here we go again. Haru, one's personal resolve paves new paths. It was the same circumstance for me. Regardless, about two weeks remain. We should stay on guard. Alright, so... We have Futaba... Tuzi and Makoto. So let's take a look. I feel like kind of doing Tuzi because I haven't in a while. Yeah, do you remember that guy Yamauchi I was talking about before? The mini Kamoshida? Yeah, that's him. Uh, well, he's gonna be the new track team advisor. He don't give a rat's ass about the sport though, or even the students. So you see, I heard this rumor. Apparently he's gotten in trouble at school before with his drinking, but that hasn't kept him from going out. I was thinking, maybe he'd let some shit slip when he's drunk. We should totally try and tell him sometime. I'll look into him where he go- I'll look into where he goes to drink. Okay. I gotta get my book. My book. As I like to say, for fun. What's the plan for today, though? You gonna train with me? Yep, we're gonna train. Hmm, somewhere's gotta be open. Let's try looking around at school. Hmm. Man, we really don't got a good place to train, huh? I mean, we'd probably run into Nakaoka and them if we stuck around here. You got any ideas? You seriously think we get any training done there? I bet we just end up eating ice cream and playing video games all day long. That's just kind of what happens, you know? Eh, I guess it won't hurt to peek around the gym. If they ain't there, maybe we can... <gasps> Nakuoka? Takeshi, the hell are you guys doing? We just have a few questions for Nakuoka here. It's none of your business. So what, you gonna ask him questions with your fists? And anyways, ain't a three-on-one kind of cowardly? The only coward here is Nakuoka. All the shit Kamoshida put us through is his fault. He was telling that bastard secrets about us the whole time. What? Huh, that's a load of bull. That's right, you've been training together for freaking forever. Plus, ain't the track team coming back? You don't gotta fight. Sh shut up. 
I'm telling you, this piece of shit sold us out. How do you think Kamashita found out about your parents, Sakamoto? He's gotta be a snitch. Whoa. Oh, hold up! Out of the way, Sakamoto. We'll beat the shit out of you too if we need to. If you think that's gonna make you feel better, go for it. But you're gonna wish you didn't. Trust me, it feels real bad looking back on shitty stuff you've done. Huh? Look, even if Nakoka was working with Komashita, ain't it fine now? The bastard's gone, so you guys can just put his, this crap behind you. There's no reason to fight, yeah? We can't keep people around who are gonna try and undermine our team. But I didn't do anything I didn't do anything. I wasn't working with Komoshida. No matter how much you hit me, my answer's gonna stay the same. Oh yeah? We've got proof. Yamuchi told us all about it. Huh? Yamuchi? Come on, Takeshi. We gotta get out of here. It'd be real bad if anyone else showed up. Nakuoka. Shit like you. Shit like you isn't welcome on our new track team. You'd better remember that. <sighs> you okay? What the hell was all that? Just stay out of this, Sakamoto. It has nothing to do with you. But... When you hit Kamashita, you were really hitting all of us who tried so hard to endure his bullshit. You might have felt relieved, but it only made life harder for us. Because of you, we lost the one place we could vent our frustrations. The one place we could really belong. Tensions got pretty high after that. And things have just been kind of rough from then on. You really think it's all fine now, huh? Well, what if I told you they're right about me? Would you still think it's fine if I was the one who told Kamoshida about your parents? <sighs> yeah. If you told him, you told him. I'm over all that stuff with my parents anyway. Besides, hey. I've realized something, Nakoka. I might have messed up with Kamoshida back then, but hanging on to the past ain't gonna help anything. I'm just gonna focus on being myself now. On being free. What are you talking about? Free, huh? <laughs> hey. Tommy, you get what I'm trying to say, yes? Yeah? Right? He's the one who wasn't making any sense. Hmm. I guess being free is like... It's like how I feel when I'm talking to you, man. Uh, I don't know what else I got to say. I just feel free. <laughs> what, we stuck on repeat or something? <laughs> right, rank sucks. Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. Man, that was some funny shit. So much for training, though, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. Ooh, we should grab ramen on the way home. Ah, you're back. All right. Who's available tonight? Just you, ladies. Sorry. But I am gonna hang out with my my boy Sojiro. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I just all right. Pardon me. I have to use the kanji for the arcana. But okay, I found it. Let me check the bond. Rank five, so five to six. Oh, the regulars will be here any minute. Don't you ever get lonely, Sultan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Have you given up on marriage? <laughs> All I want in a relationship is spicy stimulation followed by some smooth, relaxing comfort. And I can get both of those things from my curry and my coffee. That's enough for me. 
He always dodges my questions like that. He's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? To each his own. That's a real roundabout way of showing disapproval. Anyway, the only thing I care about in life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax in here. Come back any time, okay? Hey. Ugh, that curry... Ugh, sounds good. She seemed especially aggressive today, huh? It would have been bad if she pushed any further. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far, not too close. Welcome. You just don't know when to give up, do you? Well, I just learned something very interesting. Hutaba's been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? That's not good parenting. Yeah? And what have you done to take care for, to care for her? You know quite well what I've done. And it's about time you pay up. Don't be ridiculous. Hutaba had a terrible life living with you. Plus, I already gave you most of the inheritance for custody. Is that still not enough for you? We could always find out in court. I wonder who'd win between a blood relative and a mere legal guardian. You. Oh, and not to mention that kid you have here. I've heard all about him in his criminal record. That leaves us with a parent who won't let her go to school and a delinquent housemaid on probation. Doesn't quite seem to be the best environment for Futaba now, does it? Shut your mouth. You have a problem, punk? I'll sue you for intimidation. Hey, keep your neck out of this. Just get on upstairs, okay? Sojiro, I hunger. <gasps> oh. Futaba-chan, long time no see. I... 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 Futaba. See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck. This is clearly not a healthy situation. She's only like this because she saw you here. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. You can't beat me in court, so you may as well just give me the money. Uh, well, I hope you reached the right decision. Bye now. Hataba, you should just head home for today. I'll take you. Sojiro... Dab was okay. All that drama must have tied her out. She fell asleep right after we got home. That man is Futaba's uncle. After Wakaba died, Futaba was passed around to all her relatives. His place was the last. He treated her like garbage. He never fed her and forced her to sleep on the floor like an animal. No futon, I guess. He didn't even let her bathe. Once I learned that, I knew I had to step in. I couldn't stand for that kind of horrible treatment, so I decided to take Hutaba under my care. Even back then, he was whining about all the damn expenses. I threw some cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed. But now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. <laughs> Thanks. I never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Either way, though, it's hurt my fault Futaba didn't leave her room. I just didn't know how to help without through it. I'd make curry, leave it by her door, and go. If not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. So if you asked me whether I deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. They say blood's thicker than water, right? I wonder what would be the best for Futaba. Sorry. <laughs> Look at me, spilling my part at two... Spilling my heart out to a punk like you. Though, it's kind of weird. For some reason, I just feel like telling you this stuff. It's like you're peering into my heart. <laughs> I guess there really is something special about you. Alright, Coffee Mastery. Allows you to make coffee which greatly restores SP to one ally. Alright. I may be having to make some coffee soon. It's that late already? I'm going home. I should be heading home. I'm still worried about Hutaba. Stay up. Don't stay up too late, you hear? 
Oh, and thanks. My kindness is growing, pitter-patter. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna finish this book I've had since, like, June. Striking a pose of defiance with a tobacco pipe in hand, he truly looked like a great thief. Wow. Ishikawa Goemon was a thief without peer, so he was a hero of the common people, huh? So, you finished reading The Gallant Rogue. That splendid spirit that pays no mind to the bad guys. He's a true example of a gentleman thief. After reading this, I'm sure you have a better understanding of a chivalrous thief's courage. All right. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. I skipped breakfast, so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? <laughs> yeah, it really is a totem pole. It's so colorful. I just love watching people try to eat it. I'm amazed whenever someone can eat it really neatly. Mm. Eating a totem pole. Neatly. I wonder why they call it the totem pole. I can't imagine what kind of food looks like a totem pole. And eating it impresses people. The mystery deepens. The totem pole at the diner, huh? Okay, I'm interested. Oh, have you heard? Have you ever thought your phone went off but nothing actually happened? It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. Mr. Servo, let's hear it. What is this phenomenon commonly called in English? I have never heard of this, but I know what she's talking about. Like, I've experienced this, and I'm sure you all have too, but I've never heard of PVS. Okay, let's try to puzzle out this acronym. So, PVS, referring to when you mistakenly think your phone is going off. What's the P? Phantom? Right. It's gotta start with phantom, since you're only imagining it. So next is the V part. That means it'd be phantom... what? Vogue. That's it! When your phone buzzes, you say it's vibrating. Last is the S, so if we have phantom vibration so far... Good. The correct English term is phantom vibration syndrome. If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect a modern society, where being connected 24-7 is commonplace. Nice going. Oh, thanks Morgana. When I was a student, I'd get all worked up waiting for my SO to call me at night. Significant other? Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious if you ask me. Hmm. Think it'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's minds? I'll pass on that, thanks. Yeah, I don't... There's some things you just don't want to know about people and... What they're thinking all the time is one of them. Yo, I've been looking into Yamauchi lately. Thought I'd give you an update. Apparently, he's been hanging out at a Monjayaki so shop a lot. I heard he gets real drunk there and brags to his co-workers. Is this a good chance for us? We can get close. We might get some intel out of him. Right, that's where you come in. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere near him. But that ain't the case for you. I bet you could even sit next to his booth if you wanted. Probably. 
So, I'll let you know once I figure out when he's going drinking. Till then, we're gonna put a hold on our training. Well, I'll be counting on you. Alright. Wait, so... Hmm. I kind of want to finish up on. What are your plans for today? I'm in Shibuya right now. And if we're meeting up, I can get there quickly. Yeah, let's go right away. Oh yeah, I'm in the underground mall. Of course you are, hon. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh, do you want to go somewhere? If you have the time, I mean. Okay, our bone's not gonna deepen just yet. Yeah. Hmm, what should we do today? Um. Let's go. Why don't we hang out at the diner then? I could go for a nice chat. Okay, we need to hang out with her a bit more. Bye. See ya. Things are getting really crazy online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city, too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fervor may be too extreme. It is a dangerous omen. We could face a great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. Don't scare us like that. Ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. Either way, this excitement has definitely picked the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We'll need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones who sneak around? That don't make sense. Who's available tonight? Uh. Okay, I just want to see if we can follow up on the, uh, request. Mm. Lala seems busy. Oh. Hey, there's a customer who's all alone. You should go check up on them. Mm. You work here part-time? Uh, you look very young. This might bore you, but I wanted to ask. What do you think of our nation's economy? They use tax money as an emergency measure to restore the economy. But it only increased our nation's debt, which in turn burdens us, the citizens. Is this really a good strategy for revitalizing the economy? Man. Ah, this is going to take some time. He talked a lot about politics and economics. Yep. I'm surprised anyone could be so long-winded. But you did talk about a pretty difficult topic. I'm sure you gained some knowledge out of it. Yay me. All right. Good evening! I'm here! Oh, you're in a good mood today. Well, have a seat. Oh, so Shinsuke Kishi is the boss you've been having problems with, right? Actually, not anymore. I don't know what happened, but it's like he's a changed man. He suddenly said, I'm sorry for everything, and then apologized in tears to each one of us. He went from being the man his subordinates hate most to becoming the perfect ideal boss. Hey, Lala, you don't suppose... You think the Phantom Thieves did something to help me? Who knows? If they did help you, though, you have a lot to be grateful to them about. Hey, hey. Hey, did you hear? It seems that we successfully changed that man's heart. 
So, we're going to drink today. I'll order a bunch of food, too. <laughs> you silly man. All right, then. We have a bunch of orders coming up. Thanks for your help. A miner like you should probably be getting home around now. Oh, right. You were speaking with Nagai-san, right? He's an elite banker. He talks a lot, but he's got a wealth of knowledge. I bet you learned a lot by talking to him. Well, here's your pay. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Lala. All right, you should be going home. You're still underage, and Shinjuku is dangerous at night. Wanna head back? We should go home. I'm getting sleepy. I, I just wanted to follow up to see if there was anything else after that. I'll have to do the cat one someday, but the cat, they were like not, she wasn't talking about the cat kill or anything like that. When is President Okamura going to get down and beg for forgiveness? The sooner they get it done, the better it is for society. We're counting on you, Phantom Thieves. Don't let us down. These politicians and Okamura both deserve divine punishment. Oh, this place is sold out of Phantom Thieves merch, too. When I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day, they had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. It spelled the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. If you're looking for safety and stability, a civil servant is a good option. Hey, Serbo. Why don't you try? Not all civil servants work in government offices. Which one of these occupations is a civil one? Oh, god damn, I have no idea. Divers of Sanmiku, shamans at Mount Osore, fishermen in Nagara Nagaragawa. Oh my gosh. Uh, fishermen of the Nagaragawa. Very good. Oh, I'm impressed you knew that. Only the Cormoran fishermen of Nagaragawa are officially used by the Imperial Household. Those fishermen are granted spots on the Imperial Household Agency's Board of Ceremonies. That said, you can't break into that industry even if you wanted to since it's a hereditary occupation. So it's in the family. If you want a government job, try for a spot in the diet. Though some may say that's hereditary too. Hmm, yeah. Will my knowledge ever max? Right. I'm honestly fed up with politicians these days. Isn't there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? Hmm. Oh yeah, they said on the news that the cabinet's approval rating went down again. They're the complete opposite of us. Our popularity and approval have been going through the roof. Yep. <laughs> Okay, we'll hang out with On again. Uh, respond later. So, is there no one? Let me see. Underground ball. Okay, she's not here. Maybe I can work. If I can remember how to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. This way. Uh, wrong way. I don't remember where I am anymore. Who cares? I swear I want to go. <laughs> okay. We're gonna work, Morgana. Whoa! There's a sudden rush of customers as soon as Shibuya Senpai goes on break. Can you handle this all on your own? I better call for backup. I learned my lesson last time. Nice. 
has the best plan, but I feel bad for calling Shibuya Senpai while she's out on break. What else do we- what other choice do we have? Oh. Wow, such smooth service. Shibuya Senpai is incredible. <sighs> she was a real lifesaver. Oh, I think the crowd's calmed down a little. I'll come out and help again if you're in trouble. Hey. Good work. Very nice. You seemed pretty busy today. Wanna head back? You're almost done, right? Let's get your pay and go home. Anything happen with the cat killer? Follow up with me on that. Ah, oh, they're not going to. <sighs> I could have studied. Ah, you're back. Okay. Nope, I'm hanging out with my boy Sojiro. <laughs> what should I do with that man? Oh, my head hurts. Sojiro seems concerned about Hutaba's uncle. Is it okay for me to stick my nose into Sojiro's and Hutaba's problem? I'd need angelic kindness to bridge the gap between the two. Ugh! Ugh! I do not have... So I need kindness maxed out to finish that. Uh, oh, I didn't show you guys, but uh, this is what I got from Makoto, that stuffed cat. Let me check my house. No. Okay, it's pretty healthy. Okay. Um, there's a movie theater here. Let me... I have to think of things to do that will help me with my kindness, which is quite low. What's playing? The Good Father. The tra it's a tragic story about a mafia boss who just wants to dote on his children. Okay. Yeah. Let let's uh, let's go see it. If it's going to increase my kindness, why not? Uh, I also needed my uh, proficiency. Oh well, we're fine. I feel like I was able to learn how to be more compassionate to others. All right. We even watched the credits all the way to the very end. That's what every friggin' person does in a Japanese cinema. And I have to be on the aisle seats because of it sometimes. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm walking over people or like... Some movie credits are so long and there's nothing at the end of them. And you know that, but there's people, there's, they, they will sit there until the very, very end. It's not just like one person, it's everyone. Alright, let's go home. Hey, are you keeping up with comments online? There's a lot of hate for Okamura and a lot of expectations for us. It'd be better to get this done as quickly as possible. Why don't we go to the palace today? Don't get impatient, Fuji. What? You really only go at your own pace, don't you? This is our chance to show off the power of the Phantom Thieves. Don't procrastinate too much, man. Let's get started with class. How far did we go last time? Oh, well. is this on? Miss Chono, please come to the faculty office at once. What could this be? 
I'm off to the faculty office, so make sure you study on your own. Kakami's graciously given us this free time, so we'd better put it to good use. What do you want to do? So, what's the plan? We're gonna read. I need to work on my proficiency. The secret to decluttering is a pure and serene heart. Mm. Is this book really about cleaning? Or is it training you to become a monk? Hey, hey. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading, so how far did you get? Halfway. Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Ah, oh, the teacher's back! What could have been a what could that have been about? Well, let's resume class. Yep. Ah, oh, that was close. Kakami helped us get a good chunk of free time though. There's no way you could read these books all in one gameplay. An all in one game. Are we going today? What are we doing today? I don't know. I gotta return this book though. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, so let's spend some time with On. Just because we need to deepen our bond. Let's hang out. Let's go somewhere fun. We had tea last time. Somewhere popular. We went to Harajuku. I don't think we've gone to Ikebukuro with her. Oh, I've already been there? Yeah, I should have read something. We're gonna go again. Okay. We don't even need to take the- we could just walk there. It's a 20 minute walk. Okay. Let's get back. Alright, so next time we should rank up. Yawauchi said he's gonna go drinking at that Monja restaurant. You'll go with me to help and investigate undercover, right? So what's it going to be? Will you listen to Diyushi's request? Yep. Alright, I'm counting on you. Tsukushima. A waterfront district surrounded by canals, famous for its Monja Yaki. Tsukushima's famous Monja Yaki will remind you of the good old days. Alright, All right, let's go. The teacher who's with him has shit on me, too. Sorry, but I'm gonna be hiding in the bathroom. Please, Tommy. Just leave your phone on so I can hear what they're saying. Well, you can really hold your liquor, Yamauchi. Hmm, I've had some experience. Back in my college days, we'd rent a yacht for the weekend and have massive parties. Wow, rich. I must say, though, the sake has been tasting particularly sweet lately. No surprise there. Things have been much calmer without Kamoshida. Those were some real dark times for Shijin, though, huh? But now that he's gone, you finally get the chance you deserve, Yamauchi. Don't flatter me. <laughs> he had his strength, sure, but because of him, our volleyball team will be forever scarred. The only real option now is to abandon it completely. 
There has to be a way to bring Shujing back into the limelight, though. That's where I come in. You mean with the track team, right? The students who went through so much hardship under Kamoshida rise again with a caring new advisor. It'll be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. Despite my lack of track and field knowledge, I'll form a tight bond with the students. I'll be the protagonist of my very own tearjerker. And of course, all the praise for reviving them will go to me, their incredible, loving advisor. I'll have to hire a great coach if I want to pull this off, though. So you're going to pretend to coach them while someone else does all the legwork? Amazing, Yamauchi. Such stunning achievements would look great when it's time to hand out bonuses. But I'm not going to stop there, either. I'll publish books, give motivational speeches. What about all the troublemakers on the team? I've heard that Nakaoka Kid is especially bad. Nakaoka? Ah, oh, you mean the one who asked them to bring the pre kamashita coach back. Don't worry, I've already taken care of him. There's this other boy on the team, Takeshi. Doesn't really excel in much of anything. Well, I said I would make him the new captain if he could get rid of that troublemaker Nakaoka. Might have been, I might have mentioned something about how Nakoka was working with Kamoshida, too. Subtly, of course. And what ended up happening? Apparently, Takeshi chased him away. The plan worked perfectly. And the best part is, not only are Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother's the president of the PTA. I see. He'd make a great pawn. Perhaps. But a nothing like him could never captain a successful championship winning team. He may have to have an unfortunate accident at practice one day. But until then, he can show the others the value of obedience. <laughs> You're incredible. Damn it. That effing asshole. If we don't do something quick, Yamauchi's going to get rid of Takeshi too. God damn it. I really want to... That'd probably just mess up the track team's comeback. I don't want to cause them more problems. So they're just going to have to decide on their own. Hey. You know, track ain't a team sport. At least sprinting, was it? You've got teammates, sure, but you're really just looking out for your own time. If you can hear me flipping the pages, um, sorry. That's why I never thought about asking people for help or trying to solve our problems together. And again... But I can't ignore the stuff they're going through now. I mean, even though we had our own goals and shit, we were still running together. They suffered with me, gritted their teeth with me. Honestly, I think it was only because of them I was able to run at all. <laughs> so I can't just go and turn my back on him right now. I know that ain't the coolest thing to say, but it's how I feel. I think it's cool, do you see? Yeah. Huh? For real? Thanks, man. Uh, I clicked the wrong one. Oh, well. And that first choice, I should have gone with the second option, but I didn't. Uh, it's okay, though. Right. Oh, he can insta-kill now. Wait. Anyways, I'm starving. Let's eat some moncha while we're here. Right now, I've seen that this place is the goddamn toilet. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with me, man. I never had moncha yaki. I should... I regret that now. I never knew it was a thing. Okay, Saturday, you're here. What do you think will happen to Okamoto Foods? Well, even if the CEO has a change of heart, the company's image is still in ruins. I imagine their stocks plummeted. Do you think Okamoto really exploited his employees? Every little rumor goes viral these days. What if it was all just a lie? If so, the real victims here are the employees themselves. Now, the rumors about Okamoto Foods were all well known in the industry. You're overthinking it. It's October. How many more days do we got again? Aren't we cutting this kind of close? It's honestly hard to focus with all of this looming over us. Totally, these lectures just going in one ear and out the other. 
Sounds like business as usual for you, Lucy. I'd be glad to help you study if you need it. I'm a third year after all. I wish I could say no, but I'm in some deep shit here. Yeah, I think I'll take you up on that once we finish our mission. Good point. Dividing our focus between two dilemmas cannot be good for us psychologically. Well, only ten days remain. This may be our most crucial moment yet. Save real quick. What? I had eight? Four. I'm sorry, I don't know where. Where did I get eight? Let's hang out, Doozy. Yo, what do you think about training a bit? We're gonna get rusty if we don't keep ourselves active. It's not gonna deepen just yet, but let's hang out with him either way. Yo, what are we doing today? We're gonna train. Wanna get going? Okay, go get changed. We're gonna do some jogging today. Dude, is covered in sweat. Seems this workout was even more intense than usual. I feel like my bond with Dizzy will go strong soon. Stronger soon. See ya. Ah, you're back. I'll catch you here. Hmm. Hmm. I like your opinion. Do you think the Phantom Thieves will target President Okamura? They may. I see. I see. So I'm not alone in thinking that. The thieves have answered the expectations of the masses, hence the current state of excitement. It will not go well if they choose to betray those expectations, as I'm sure the phantom thieves know. I must I'll be going now. The coffee was delicious. Okay, who's available? Oh, it's you. Okay. airing tonight. Knowledge. Mm. Yeah, I did. Let's go to Shibuya. Let me see what's at the cinemas here first. Admission impossible. It's the story of a man who's forced to break into a secure apartment to get a spare key. Might improve me get some proficiency. Yeah, why not? Okay. Should you choose to accept it, you must infiltrate your own home without a proper key. Find the key and enter within 90 minutes, or forfeit ownership of all your possessions in your room. Good luck. Okay, calm down. They won't see me if I climb over the outer wall. Oh, he's climbing up those glass windows so effortlessly. That guy is too skilled. a movie, Morgana. 
Oh, I love watching movies with Morgana though. It's so cute. All right, let's go home. Uh, who's that? You up? <laughs> the movie theater nearby is showing a great classic sci-fi movie. You have tomorrow off, right? Let's take a break from the Haru thing. Let's go see Back to the Ninja. <sighs> I'll decide later. I can't wait for his public apology. They should just execute everyone who causes trouble for society. Ooh, maybe they could take down my boss. Politicians who knock the Phantom Thieves are just sore losers. What about Akitsukun? Is he too afraid of backlash to comment? Yeah, he might be. Hey. We're fine. Okay. So, is there no one else to spend time with? Let me check. Okay. Like... In the school gate. Okay, we can spend time with Makoto. I meant to run, but I can't. I was wondering if Fuji was here. I think I'll... We haven't spent time with Makoto in a while. Available. I'd like to talk to you about Eiko. Let me check the bond. So we're currently at four. All right. I have a small favor to ask you. Shall we go? Let's get a drink before we talk. Oh, and we can take the back entrance into the school. Because this event was designed to take Actually, inside the school. Apparently, Eiko has started dating a host from a club near her work. I guess he, um, hit on her one day after her shift, and that was that. Since then, he's the only thing she'll talk about. She even sent me a picture of their date at Destiny Land. Are you jealous of them? He sounds suspicious. You think so as well? For now, it seems he hasn't forced her to spend any money at his club, but I'm still nervous. Beyond that, he calls her his princess and constantly tells her how special she is. It makes me sick to my stomach. But Eiko refuses to listen to me. She said the idea that all hosts are bad people was outdated. She even said she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would totally flunk a test about love. Just thought about love aren't a thing, though. And even if they were, I most certainly wouldn't flunk them. S sorry about that. I I'm probably just being biased towards him. I mean, I don't 
don't have any proof that he's untrustworthy. But that's why I want to meet him and find out for myself what kind of person he really is. And if it's not too much to ask, I'd like you to accompany me on this excursion as well. Uh, well... This time, um, you'll have to play the role of my boyfriend. It's honestly okay. You're so reliable, Tommy-kun. I think if I have a boyfriend, Eiko might be more inclined to listen to me. Actually... To tell you the truth, I actually already made plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. S sorry But it's just going to be at a diner. Nothing particularly fancy, I promise. Thank you. Thank you. You're a tremendous help. I'm so glad you agreed to this. I don't know who else I'd have asked if you had said no. Ryuji, I can sense Makoto's trust in me. All right. All right. Eiko, I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. But just in case, I'll try looking for some info on that host. See you later. Ah, you're back. Everyone's comments used to be so encouraging, but now they're actually kind of frightening. This is utter chaos. The public dislike of Okamura has grown exponentially as well. How are you holding up, Haru? We've been receiving anonymous threats almost every day now. That's scary. But our security is tight, so it's been okay so far. I believe things will calm down once we finish this, Haru. And what about us? Are we gonna get all popular and shit again? Let us not concern ourselves with that for now. I only pray that things calm down. Okay, we are not gonna give a shit about that. Aha! Today's the day. I'm sure I don't have to explain the significance, but I have a request for you since you've stuck by my side. How's your schedule today? We're gonna head over immediately. Thank you, I'm in your debt. I'd like you to hear my speech about the Phantom Thieves. See you at the station square. What else should I be? The stage is set. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it, but I know, you're not going to be my right-hand man, right? Don't worry, I won't pull any tricks. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. I saw Kuromoto's grandson around here somewhere. I bet he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. This speech should serve as your response to him. I didn't think any of the parties would back no good Tora. He's going to talk about the Phantom Thieves, right? I couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. Very well. Okay, I'm going to get started. Okay, I just want to. I just want to double check. Because <laughs> this should be. Oh, we're close to... The Damn it, I got rid of my persona too soon. Oh well. Yes. I will, especially with you looking on. Everyone. The reason they're causing such a stir is because they are addressing the world's problems. What are you doing, Toronosuke? Setting aside whether their actions are right or wrong. There is one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I... I'm sure you are all aware that I am no good Tora, the one accused of embezzlement. I was a fool 20 years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. The most important thing is... Why am I in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But why do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? 
I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they had no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. I... I'm just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able to become a Diet member this election. I may not be able to affect change during my lifetime. However... But I've made my peace with that. I will be happy as long as I can be a meaningful stepping stone for the future of our youth. Thank you for listening. I set the stage for nothing. So you have no intention of accusing old man Kuramoto? Yes. That's right. Sheesh. Such a heartfelt speech for someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I doubt any of them were moved by your words. I might be the only one who in this entire city... Might be the only one in this entire city who was. Hey! Matsushita, what about me? Proceed as you wish with your candidacy. I'll take measures to ensure the party backs you. Within the limits of my abilities, of course. Goodbye. Mm. My candidacy, huh? What an unexpected turn of events. The Phantom Thieves. Perhaps it's the effect of you moving my heart. That must be it. Still, I have you to thank for all this. The Phantom Thieves. The power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Speech is my only weapon. Just my voice and my words. That's how I win people Thank over. You. Thank you for sticking by my side, Servoklin. Alright, rank 9. Just one more and we matched right. it. We're so close. <laughs> Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't such a bad thing. If he's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then... Ah, oh, I'm talking to myself again. Another bad habit of mine. Time to finish up for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Good job. Um, good morning. Oh, we're in our autumn clothes now. I just realized. It's just one week until the day my father promised. I want to change his heart by then, no matter what. I don't want him to keep making mistakes. That's why I want to go to the palace today. How about it, Tommy-kun? Well, let me think about it, hon. Yes. Alright, let me know once you decide. I'll work hard too, so let's try to get this done by the deadline. Oh, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll be going there Saturday. That's the deadline for the treasure room. Which I think we're really close to. That palace is huge. Just not understand. To be honest, I'm fed up with how pe happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts, social reform. Don't give me this Phantom Thieves nonsense. It's all so unscientific. I mean, how could they target Big Bang Burger and Okamura Foods? They're criminals. That artificially consummate flavor Enough volume to fill a small universe. Are the Phantom Thieves trying to steal the galaxy called junk food from me? Ew. That said, Servokun. The night sky may be filled with countless galaxies, but in the entire universe, which of these is closest to its density of stars? Oh, three watermelons in the sun. Um, I was about to say, Mr. Hiruta has a really bad sense, uh, judgment of character. <laughs> That's it. I, I expected as much out of you. Yes, the correct answer is three watermelons in the sun. Three bees in the whole of Europe works too. In other words, the universe is essentially empty. There are countless stars in the sky, but the universe is even more vast than that. Even within our galaxy, the stars are separated by a great distance, even though you can see so many. Apparently, like, 
there's a like what we see is like black there's apparently a whole bunch more stars even in that they just the light of them just hasn't even reached us so yeah it is it is empty but there's still a lot that we don't know about Close, but yet far. <laughs> you could say the same of our hearts. Ah, if you only knew the places we've been. I'm gonna hang out with Hutaba. What are you gonna do today? I'm waiting at LeBlanc. Keep me posted. Sounds like Futaba is standing outside LeBlanc again today. Want to go see her for a bit? Roger that. I gotta, I gotta find her now. <laughs> I wish I had this earlier in the week. Ah. Oh, it has all the things for the presents and everything. information here. Welcome back. Oh, Tommy, welcome home. What do you want to do today? You know we're in the middle of an operation, right? Are you sure you don't want to infiltrate? We'll be fine. Really? R really? Uh, I guess I can't complain too much since you're going to be hanging with me. Oh, right. Um, well... Sorry about what happened in Akihabara. I really messed up. Hatana looks really depressed. Maybe you should cheer her up. <sighs> that police officer? He was way, way higher level than me. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, I still managed to buy some stuff after that. But that was only because you were there. Anyways. Um, can we go up to your room? I want to talk. Okay, right. let's go, Tommy. <laughs> Akihabara was lots of fun. I think I want to try going somewhere else sometime. It really sounds like Sojiro wants me to go back to school. But online classes are better for studying. I wouldn't even have to leave the house. Yeah. Ain't it? I can attend classes without even getting out of bed. Though, I don't know if Sojiro would really consider that going to school. School. Um, um to be honest... I really do want to go back. Do you think I'll be able to? Yes. Yeah. I... I'm gonna do my best. Oh, that's right. Oh, I should make a promise list. My mom used to have me do that all the time. She'd write all my goals for the month, like cleaning the house or running errands for her. Then when I'd finish one, she'd mark it off with a big stamp. She always used to write comments too. Those were the best. Oh, and once I finished all my goals, she would take a day off work to spend time with me. All right. It's decided then. I'm gonna make a promise list. Time to get my ideas ready. All done. So, these are my promises. One, go somewhere with lots of people. Getting used to big crowds is key. Two, go to school. I want to see what the inside of a normal high school looks like. Three, learn about my generation. I definitely need more info. Four, have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Hmm. How's that? Settled. I'm not setting a deadline for this, by the way. I want to try and finish all of them someday. 
You're gonna have to help me, though. I'll work even harder with my navigation in return. I can sense Hutaba's trust in me. Memento scan. Chance to fully map a floor of mementos when entering that floor. It's a really, really good ability there. So, um... If I finish all the promises, do you think I could have a reward? I know, it's kind of weird to ask, but having a reward waiting at the finish line will totally push me onward. All right. Anyway, I got this. But I'm kind of exhausted from making the list, so... Tomorrow. I got this tomorrow. Okay. Whoop! I'm gonna make, like, a hedgehog and roll out of here. Hutaba went home. Good for her. Ah, you're back. Yup. Ah, crap. I love you, Hifumi. Hifumi and Shihaya, my loves, but I really need to get better at things. Um, like proficiency and uh, like kindness. Back to the ninja. This is the knowledge one. Nope. Let's go to Shibuya. I'm at the wrong wrong thing. Oh well. We're not going to buy a ticket for a movie we've already seen. We'll work at the beef bowl shop. Let's go to work. Just in case I need to memorize shit. Yep. Yikes, a lot of customers just came in. You're going to be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. Give me a large barbecue bowl. B B Q. Large beef bowl, please. One medium quick roll bowl. One medium curry bowl. All right, stay calm and remember the orders. What did the first person order? It was large barbecue bowl. Yes, that's right. What did the second person order? Yeah, they did say that. Uh, what about the third customer? It's medium. Yep, that's what I heard too. What did the fourth customer order? Medium curry. Yeah, you're right. That was the order. All right, now you just have to make everything and serve them. Good work. I'm counting on you. Thank you, sir. Man. You were amazing today, dealing with so many orders. I'm sure it was rough, but I think you handled it all quite proficiently. Hmm. Ooh, did it max? Yeah! I am transcendent, y'all. <laughs> I guess we should go home soon. Now I can focus on kindness. Do you think the Phantom Thieves will do the same thing to that CEO that they did to our principal? Come on, they aren't gonna murder him. Besides, I'm pretty sure the principal killed himself. No way, that was the Phantom Thief sending a message. Wake up, people. It's time to atone. Or something like that. I'd kill for that kind of power. That wasn't us! These ratings are insane. Haven't they gone up even more? 
There seems to be no end to it. People are truly enjoying this. But their dislike of Okamura is starting to impact Haru. I'm okay. It was shocking at first, but I'm not letting it get to me. I'm more worried that Father will try to do something drastic. Anything is possible given the state of public opinion. Well, we just gotta make sure nothing bad happens, yeah? We don't have much time left. We have to handle this ASAP. Just always double checking the save. Alright. Um, who's available? No one here, no one here. Come on, y'all. Oh, it's raining. Usually no one's available when it rains. Hmm. Should we... We'll work on kindness. Okay, an order bouquet. Small you. flowers with soft coloration. White or other light colors. the other small That's Oh great. good Good, good, good. Wanna head back? Okay, the rain cleared. Ah, you're back. Still can't hang out with him. <sighs> How's my plant doing? Have to buy some more. Oh. All right. Here, I'll get a devil. Okay. Well, there is a movie theater here. Let me see what's showing. The Dovengers. Kindness. Okay, we'll go see it. I didn't have to go get a devil persona, but oh well, that's fine.
what you want, Kratos? Delicious! Just who are you humans? We're the ones people expect nothing out of. We are the Avengers! The aliens return to their home planet out of pity. Does that mean the humans won? I could feel the pity that the aliens had for the heroes. <laughs> hmm. We even watched the credits all the way to the very end. Alright, let's go home. Good morning. Hey, isn't it almost time? The deadline is the 10th. If we don't do something by then, Haru's going to get taken away. Let's head to the palace, okay? I'm thinking about it, On. No. Let's move! At this rate, Haru's going to be given to that man. We can't let that happen. Let's go change your father's heart as soon as possible, okay? Don't worry, On. We'll, she'll be fine. Ah, well, got some time to slack we off. Well, I can tell thanks to the angle. What do you want to do? So we're gonna read. Now I was reading. This for my proficiency, but I don't really need to anymore. <laughs> Um, I think this will be good because we're going to go see movies to kind of build up how to enjoy every type of film. Mm. All movie posters are kind of scary. Maybe it's the color. Oh. So you finished reading Cinema Treasures. It talks about movie techniques in such great detail. It really makes you appreciate film more. You know, we should go to the movie theater sometime. So I'm thinking this will help with some of the remainder, um, status boosts. Ah. Oh, that's disappointing. Yep. I guess that's one of the, that's one of the perks of the Temperance, our, um, Arcana. Got time to read the books. Okay, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I know what I'm doing. Really? No one? Let me just check. Just check and make sure there really is like okay, I guess there is no one available. Right, we're gonna see if we can get this guy. Got a big banger boom big bang burger coon doll, huh? Alright. 
And I think just because we're still working on kindness. I also need to buy some uh, more of the nutri nutrients. There's something to rent that will help with my kindness. Next, we have an update on the Phantom Thief craze. The popularity of Phantom, uh, bleh, bleh. the popularity of Phantom Thieves is as p strong as ever. More people are becoming fans every day. Some, however, might be going too far with comments like, "I want them to destroy all evildoers." I'm glad that we have fans, but not if they're genuine fanatics. Oh. Can I watch a DVD? I see you. is a convicted criminal, yet you want to save him? His guilt or innocence is for the courts to decide. My only concern is that he lives long enough to get there. It's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. Wow! I like this guy. A person's life is valuable, no matter what they've done. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> no matter the circumstances, those doctors never gave up. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Look at all that kindness I I earned. Don't worry. We'll finish it and then we'll return it. Err, my ears. Itchy, itchy. Okay. Hey. All right. That's where the motomat ah We'll finish this. Hmm? Gaze upon your clutter with a heart detached from desire. The answer will then come to you. Mm. Is this book really about cleaning? Or is it training you to become a monk? Hmm. So you finished reading Tidying the Heart. Cleaning as a way to speak to your heart. I've never thought of it that way. Reading this book must have taught you how to contemplate and think more efficiently, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I already got that maxed though, so... Just wanted to get out of the way, just for completion's sake. Textbooks open to page. Picking up from last time, we were talking about the French Revolution. 
Having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. However, the revolutionaries, too, were then reviled as despots and executed by the public. <laughs> All in all, more than 2,900 people were executed over the course of the revolution. Wow. The fact that this many executions were possible was actually due to one specific invention. <laughs> I know all about this. What is the answer? This device made mass executions possible. You know what it's called, yes? This is it. A guillotine. Correct. That's correct. By the way, the name guillotine comes from Joseph Ignan's guillotine, the doctor who proposed the idea. It may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painless execution, regardless of one's social status. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that it embodied the French spirit of equality. Yeah, death becomes the machine. Some say it should be brought back. I don't. I don't know how I feel about. It. I don't. All right. Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing. The revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became despots themselves. It's a common tale. Our social reform doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a bloodless revolution. Ah, uh, either die a hero, live long enough to see yourself become a villain. <laughs> Okay, so basically, everyone's like, we're not... Like, in the last couple of days, they just don't want to... ...do any social links or anything like that. That's a real bummer. But we're gonna work on our kindness. Reddish flowers. All right. So, we shall use this large red flower. And orange. Yeah, I hope they like it. That's good. All right, we're heading home, Morgana. Come on. Nice. Hmm. Oh, did it, Max? No. All right. Damn it. Want to head back? That's gonna take a while. Sorry, Chihaya. There it is, my little burger up there. Get up. Our next story is about Okamura Foods. Today, we take an in-depth look into Kunikazu Okamura, the man who made the chain what it is today. Mr. Okamura is well-connected in various industries, and it's even rumored he may enter politics. The news is talking about Haru's dad. It seems he's got influence in all sorts of different areas. Yep. Okay, we're gonna watch DVD. I'm gonna finish I See You, okay? If you try to save both the mother and the baby, you'll lose them both. Or I could save them both. I can do this. You need to trust me. It's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. Man. Wow, this guy just doesn't have the word surrender in his dictionary, does he? Oh. So, we finished watching I See You, huh? Mm -hmm. Did it, Max? No. Right. It's always making these sounds that I think it may have maxed. 
I think we're doing good, though. Alright, so we just gotta return that. If the Phantom Thieves are doing it, then it shouldn't be a problem. Really, though? Who are they? If I met them, it would be love at first sight. What are they waiting for? Hurry up and do it already! Heroes have an obligation to rescue the weak. Hey. We'll be fine! Still working on that on that far kindness. Uh, no. You scared? Sorry, I meant underground mall. Oops. Turn the DVD. Wrong. Wrong building. Akihabara. Just real quick. See if there's any retro games. Ah, oh, this is where you've been hiding at now. I was wondering where you were. Huh. Where's the retro store? They're all closed? Sounds like BS to me. Really? Ah. Guess we'll see what movies are showing. Yeah, we'll watch this again. Well then. Just to just to keep that kindness up. Eat however much you want, Kratos. Delicious. Just who are you, humans? We're the ones people expect nothing out of. We are the Avengers. I maxed! Awesome! All right. All right, so that's done. Now we can progress with Sojiro's rank. Oh, 
Okay, but first, before we even bother. The pressure on us is insane. It's not showing any signs of calming down either. And it looks like people are sick of waiting for us to take action. Hard mode engaged. That don't matter. We ain't got a choice but to do this now. Will you be okay, Haru? Yes, thank you. I'd be lying if I said I'm not a little anxious, though. But we can't really afford any more delays. We need time to send out the calling card, after all. Let's make sure we put an end to this before things get completely out of hand. Alright, that is what we are going to do, Makoto. We're going to save. I should write something. And next time we will be taking on Okamura's Palace for the last time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.